are together again on the radio, and um, you know Mark Anthony is, right? Mark Anthony, the singer, Latin pop star. Well, this from um, Night Ritter Newspapers. Mark Anthony needed to know whether he was the father of a Miami infant. And he's happy with the answer, reports the New York Daily News. The salsa superstar's wife, Dianara Torres, filed for divorce January 20th after a 21-year-old Miami waitress, Elizabeth Leva, claimed Anthony was the father of her two-month-old son. Now, according to Anthony's attorney, Orrin Snyder, a DNA test has proved... Leva's claim is false. Snyder said a leading DNA lab, Genelex, conducted the tests which were performed at Mr. Anthony's request and, quote, confirmed what Mr. Anthony has known all along. Mark's incredibly relieved, said a friend of the Latin heartthrob. Neither Leva nor her lawyer could be reached for comment. Snyder said he has informed Leva of the results and, quote, demanded that she cease and desist from claiming the singer is the father of her child. And uh, the marriage broke up. Turns out he's not the father of the child. Now, did he uh, stop her? I have no idea. No idea. The point is that it is all too easy for women to uh, embarrass a man, make these claims... And uh, in many cases, uh, get uh, those 18 years of payments we always talk about on the air. Now, um, I imagine that uh, this case is not done yet. You've got Mark Anthony's attorney claiming the DNA test uh, proves Mark Anthony's not the father, but until the court uh, signs off on that, it's still an open case. But I would be willing, there are many, I'm willing to bet there are many women out there right now who have told a man he is the father of a particular child, but you know he's not. It could be your husband, who thinks your daughter or son is yours, his. It could be, um, I mean, think about this for a second. Be somebody uh, you did one given night. Six weeks later, the phone call came in. Hi, remember me? Remember you bought me those those shots? Remember? And then we went out to the parking lot, and you were like, I don't know, you were like unconscious or something, because you were like, oh, you were like out of it. But, uh, well, I'm late. You know those calls. When in reality, some of these chicks are complete sluts and they're doing everybody. Here's my question. I want to talk to you girls who've done this. You've told the man he's the father of a child. You've told the man that uh, either your husband, uh, boyfriend, one night stand, maybe you were gang banged once, and you don't know which of the 200 guys it is, but you picked one of them, and you said, that guy's got the most money, that guy's got the most potential. You, you the caller, have deceived a man into believing he is the father of your child. So if you've done that, I want to hear your story told for you at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Have you lied to a guy? Is there somebody out there who thinks he has a child? But in reality, somebody else has it. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. Usually 30 minutes of a date, you ask that million-dollar question, Tom. What's that? Spit or swallow. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM. All right, have you told the man he is the father of your child? But in reality, somebody else is the father of your child. And the guy who's paying you, or the guy who's married you, or the guy who moved in with you, he has no idea. And he's too dopey to like get a DNA test or check, so he's just kind of bought into the whole thing. 1-800-5800-TOM. Use our telephone number. Susan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. 
Good. Hey, I'm 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 kind of one of those women, but I didn't pull the thing whole. I was dating a man that I fell very much in love with, and I found out he was married, and I ended up speaking with his wife. So I ended the relationship with him, but I told him I was pregnant and that he needed to give me money for the abortion, and he did. So he doesn't have. I didn't tell him I had a baby, but I got a thousand dollars from him. So you told. Wait a minute. You were really pregnant by him or by no, somebody? No, I wasn't pregnant at all. But oh. I was so upset and so angry with him. I'd been with him for almost, you know, almost a year. He told me he was separated. And it was a big involved lie. The guy went to a lot of work for this lie, but I found out anyway that he wasn't um, separated. And when I spoke with his wife, I ended the relationship, but then I told him that I was pregnant and he needed to give me a thousand bucks for the abortion, and he did. <laughs> okay. So I thought that served him right. I was so hurt. I was so mad. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> What'd you do with the money? I spent it on my, you know, did, just spent it on myself, put it in my bank account. I was working then. I owned my own catering business, so it wasn't like I needed it. But I, I just was so angry. I couldn't think of anything, you know. That was the most important thing to him was money, so I hit him where it hurt. <laughs> Look at you. So, but I would never tell a man a child was his that wasn't. I just don't get women that do that. I think that's horrible. And when they find out it's not, I think that woman should have to pay back every dime of money that that man has given her and interest. I just, uh, that's horrible. So. Yeah, well, there's a lot fun. of that out there, as you know. Yeah, there's a lot of it. Sorry, did that ever happen to you? Uh, no. No, it never happened to me. Um, I did. You're so passionate about the topic. I wondered if maybe that's... Oh, but that's the thing, though. There's no doubting where I stand when we start from the beginning. Right. And no doubting about using birth control and everything. I mean, it's it's all set. There is. Oh yeah, I think that idea that you gave the guys to go out and donate sperm and then get a vasectomy, and then that makes them in charge of who who and when they have children with. I think that is an awesome idea. Yeah. I I think that should be like that should be a law. It should be standard procedure for these it boys. It is. It's so smart because men don't have they have they don't and over here in Washington. The men just take it in the shorts when it comes to um, Office of Support Enforcement. And I had a boyfriend years ago that that man could not have a wife because his wife, when an ex-wife went and got on welfare, and they started doing the arrears thing and the mandatory wage assignment where they just automatically take half of his pay. They were taking wow. half of his pay. For a kid, and he couldn't. When he tried to get unemployment, they took half of that. They took his income tax. When he went to go try to get help, see if he could get medical help or food stamps, they told him he made too much money because they based it on his gross. But what he was left with, he was left to live on four hundred bucks a week. Oh boy! Well, now we're going in a whole other direction here. But Susan, I I thank you for that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. All right, you told the guy he's a father, but in reality, somebody else is the father. He doesn't know. He's either paying you money, or he married you, or he moved in with you, or whatever. He does not know. Tony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Oh, what's up, Tony? No, you're Tony. I'm Tom. Oh, what's up, Tom? Not much. <laughs> hey, uh, wanted to know uh, how do you go about getting one of those DNA tests, or how do you do it? Uh, well, let me ask you this: Who who are you trying to get it from? Uh, this, this girl says I have had a pair of twins with her. She says they're mine. Yeah. And I've been, you know, going... How how long ago did that happen? Uh, about a year ago. About a year? Yeah, this is very important. Is it over or under a year? Over a year. You may be screwed. Is she asking for money? Mm, she's just asking for, like, as much help as I can give. I've been going and giving a couple things once in a while. Uh, why are you doing that without a DNA test? Because I don't know how to get one. That's what I'm calling. Well, first of all, did you ever get like an official notification that you are the father of these kids? Like uh, something from the no. court? No. Word of mouth. Word from of her. So she called you? Yeah. Right. Well, um, do you ever see these kids or hang out with them? Once. All right. And, um, you know, there are ways to retrieve a DNA sample without her participating. But, That's what I'm calling for. But the question, you, you have to ask an attorney about this, because uh, depending on where you live, it may be too late anyway. Mm -hmm. If she's declared you the father on paper... No. How do you know? Mm, because she says she didn't put on the birth certificate. Pow. 
Have you seen the birth certificate? No. Then you don't know. Well, see, the thing is, she's a close friend of the family, and if uh, her parents would have saw it on the birth certificate, they would have came to me right away, her parents. Uh -huh. Well, if I were you, seriously, don't cheap out. Get an attorney. Tell them no. what you know. Yeah. Huh. Get. Because they, they don't really look too much like me. How? No. They're dark. I'm telling you. Get an attorney. All right, man. And get one soon. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right. Let me know what happens. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Have you ever done that? You got pregnant, and you told the guy it was his, but in reality, you know the kid is somebody else's. Kind of like what seems to be happening in the Mark Anthony case. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Fernandez. Fernandez, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah. How you doing, Tom? Okay. Yeah, I've had, I had that happen to me back in 1996. Some girl got pregnant and said the baby was mine. I took care of the child for two years. I got in a little trouble, had to go on a little vacation. I got out and took a DNA test, and the baby was not mine. Really? And what did she say when she found that out? Oh, uh, she was denying the whole thing. I'm like, hey, this is science. It says I am not his father. I am not his father. And I sued her for my money for two years' worth of child support. Did you get it back? Oh, yes, I did. You did? I've never heard of anyone getting it back. Oh, yeah, I fought for mine. Wow. Good for you. Yeah. I am proud. Yeah, I am too. Wow, wow, wow. You just got to work for it. You got to get you a good attorney and, hey, don't stop until you get what's coming to you. Yeah, but I'd, spe I'd spend the whole amount just making her life a living hell. Oh, yeah, I did. I put her picture on the Internet, all kinds of stuff. Letting everyone know that she's a... You know, whatever, you know, a bitch and, uh. Um, and a whore. I, I even told her. Money grubbing too. whore. Huh? And she was married when we got the test results. Really? Oh, yeah. Her husband didn't like that too much. I'll bet he didn't. But he must have liked it because he had four more kids by her, so. Yeah, but he found out that she was with you. Oh, yeah. Love that. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tom, could you blow me up? Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Monica on the Tom Likey Show. Hello. Hi, how you doing? I just want to say I've done it and I've gotten away with it. All right, tell us uh, how this happened. Well, you know, I was with a guy when I was young and um, with more than one guy, but I picked a guy that I wanted to be the father of my child, and he has been for the last eighteen years. Now, does he not know you were with all these other men at the time? No, he does not know. So he thought he was the only one? Oh, yeah. And you don't even know who the father of your child is? No clue. <laughs> and uh, you feel good about that? Well, I figure I have to take care of my child. I did what I had to do, and my child is being taken care of. So and is this guy, like, wealthy or something? Is that the deal? Well, no, he's not wealthy. He's well-to-do. He's not wealthy. Would have been wealthy if you hadn't tagged him for child support. Excuse me? He well, he would have been wealthy if you hadn't tagged him for child support. Well, no. <laughs> Could have been, but we'll never know. Oh, my God. And he's been with you all these years? Yes. Wow. We're not, to get, we're not together as a couple, but he's been paying child support. Oh, and he's paying child support doesn't even live with you? No. I told him he was a father, and he was a very upright kind of guy, and... Put his name on a um, birth certificate. I hope all you Poindexters out there who want to do the right thing by the one woman who had sex with you, <laughs> I hope you're hearing this because this is what's out there. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to you. And you're proud because you wanted to take care of your kid. Exactly. And you had no plan. And child is being taken care of. Hang on a second. Johnny, what do you want to say here to Monica? I think she's that lady of uh, Monica... You are a rude, no good trick. Because you know what? I've experienced what, you, what, what you've done to this guy, okay? I mean, if a guy uh, takes responsibility of a child and he thinks it's his, uh huh. Okay, and he thinks it's his, and 18 years he tells this guy, I mean, does he know the child's not his anymore? No, no, he's, and the child will always be his. What kind so of stank trick, now what kind of stank trick are you though? 
I, I mean, what about, what, about, what, about, what, about, what about his life? What about his life? He has, he has a wonderful daughter that he's okay, taking you know care of, you know that he's taking you know care what, of, and that, you know he's what, that he has you her in her life. life. You changed his whole life. You changed his whole life. He's a child of years. He, he could have been nothing else. He could have been a doctor, a lawyer. But he said, I'm going to go ahead and take care of my he, child. You never know what he could have done. Could what could have done. You are a no good <laughs> trick. And all you are, you're burning hell women who do crap like that. You I'm, should burn in hell for that. You should burn in hell for that. Sir, you should. What about his life? You are so selfish. I'm not selfish. Like, you are so selfish. I'm taking care of that my is child. That is, no, 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 no. That's your child, not his. Your child. It is your child. No, no. You open, no, you open your legs. You open it, your legs to any time they can hear it. You figure, well, you know what? Let me go with this nice guy who I think would be the better person for my, for my child. And I made the right choice. You know what? He should find out and just bust you in the head. Because if I find out, well, and you, and that was my, you know what, I've been through that. But you know what, I went to jail because of that. You know what? I went to jail because well, of that. Well, that's you. And now we know what, now we know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, women, now women like you deserve that. And I, I, I'm totally against uh, violence against women, but stuff like that, you deserve it. You deserve to get kicked in the neck. Well, baby, I hope you don't end up back in jail. Well, you know what? I won't because I'm over it now. But when it's in the year, it brings, back, it brings back painful memories of what you all put men through. Because, honestly, I went with these kids like, oh, these are kids of mine. I love them. And then I find out the hard way. That's the worst thing you can do to a person. The worst thing you can do to a person. Because, it's true, I still love these kids. I still love them. But... The point is, sometimes the most embarrassing thing is when, I, when I'm out in public and people say, uh, those kids, they don't look anything like you. I know in my heart they aren't mine, but they don't know. And that just burns. That hurts so bad. You understand what a man goes through when you, because your pride, I mean, your pride. I mean, your pride is a man. You know, you, you deserve to burn in hell for that. You, you, you deserve to burn in hell. Well, I, I, wish, sorry, I wish, I wish, I, I wish, all, sorry, I wish, I wish, I wish all bad things on you in life because you're gonna come back. It's gonna come back. You don't think it is now, but it's going to come back tenfold. Later. Okay, baby. Will you take care? All right, Johnny, Monica. Thank you for the calls. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. More of your telephone calls are coming up. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles, one 800 tom Have you ever done this? Gotten pregnant? And pick some guy you've been with in the past to be the father, even though you know he's not the father? He thinks he is. He married you. He moved in with you. He's paying child support. Whatever. Because he believed you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Zach on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, Tom, Tom. Zach. How you doing? Okay, Zach. I am going through exactly what you're talking about right now. You're not going to believe this. Uh, I got together with a girl about a year and a half ago. Uh, we It was one of those uh, revolving door type deals, you know right. what I mean? Uh-huh. But anyway, needless to say, she comes to me a uh, day after my birthday and tells me she's pregnant. Well, the thing is, I hadn't been seeing her for about a month and a half prior to this point, so I really didn't know if it was mine, you know, the whole nine yards. So, you know, do the right thing. I, I threw the Hail, Hail Mary, but that didn't work because she had listened to your show, so it kind of screwed me, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, needless to say, I moved her in thousands of dollars later. I mean, bought all the baby stuff, the whole nine yards. She turned around, got pissed off one day, moved out. And coming to find out, now I can't see my son because she controls it, won't accept any child support. And then just in November, I receive a summons in the mail from the Child Support and Welfare Department for over $2,000 that I owe them for money that she's been collecting ever since she left my place. Uh-huh. She went on welfare, and now they want their money back. Yeah. And, and the thing is, is I just now file for medi uh, mediation, uh, DNA testing, and all that. I mean, it's so bad, Tom, that I got a vasectomy this past October. And, and I have to tell you, to, to all the listeners out there, do it. If you don't want to have children, go get a vasectomy. It's three days of, you know, just sitting back, but you got to do it. 
And then don't tell the chicks you've had one. I mean, seriously, I, I'm being so serious because I am going through hell right now. I, it, I mean, it's all in the woman's favor. It's all in the woman's favor. That's Men right. have zero rights when it comes to this. Stuff. That's right. Because, I mean, I haven't seen my quote-unquote son for a month and a half now because of her. Because you got to remember, she has the power. If I go over there and she yells at me and I say something back to her, all she's got to do is call the police and I'm arrested. Unbelievable. So, yeah, tell all your listeners out there, to hell with the condoms. Go get a vasectomy, man. Don't, don't even trust the condoms because that, that's the only surefire way that you can protect yourself. Because right now I'm, I'm about to get into more, you know, a grand here, a grand there, you know, attorney fees, mediation fees, you know, all the little fees that are on top of all the other money that I've spent over the year. I mean, it's amazing. It, it's absolutely amazing. And I, I have to tell the men out there, Get a DNA test because as he gets older, he doesn't look like me. Wow. And here, well. and here I put this woman in and paid for everything. I've been telling guys you have to make it mandatory. Anytime someone asks you for uh, child support, you ask for a DNA test, even if it's too late to do anything about it. Well, Tom, Get that DNA test. Just to help out the uh, gentleman that called in about uh, two callers prior, he was calling asking how he could get a DNA test. There, is it okay if I give the uh, laboratory out on the air? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you give it to Dean, and then if somebody wants it, they can call him for it. That's the best way to go, I think. Thanks. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to TJ on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Oh, hi, TJ. All right, this is my story. It's kind of hard to tell it. Well... About two years ago, this happened around two years ago, um, I'm working at a store with this girl, beautiful girl. You know, we started messing around each other. A month later, oh, I'm pregnant. Now, me, being a pussy that I used to be before I listened to your show, yeah. I'm like, okay, great. I'm going to take care of my child. You know, i got a steady job and a great family. Come to find out, you know, over a while, the, the kid is born. It's about a year now. The kid is born. She's a beautiful little girl. You know, and, like, I have the... The family lovers, you know, before my father passed away, I didn't tell Dina, but before my father passed away, I, um, on my dad's deathbed, I introduced him to, to his granddaughter. You know, I'm the last son. I want to introduce him to the last granddaughter, you know. Uh huh. So my father sees him. My father passed away shortly after that. So, you know, I'm thinking everything's okay. All of a sudden I'm thinking, you know, she doesn't really look too much like me. You know, she's not as dark as I am. Yeah. So I, I, go, and get a, I go and get a DNA test. You know, because the baby, you know, I'm like, I'm going to get a DNA test. cost me a little bit of money, but I did. Right. Come to find out, it's not mine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and check this out, Tom. Her, um, after I confront her with this, she tells me, oh, she's married. What? She's married. Holy cow. She's married. And, and come to find out, the, the, um, the baby is the husband. It's, the, it's her oh. um, husband's child. And she probably put him down on the birth certificate. It's the perfect crime. Yes, yes. And I'm like, I couldn't believe it. Introduce her to my whole family. Baby shower, everything. I'm taking care of the baby. I, I babysit everything. And you didn't even know she had a husband. I didn't even know she had a husband. You know, I'm, I'm in love with the child. I'm taking her everywhere, taking pictures with the child, you know. My whole family knows it's mine. The whole world, oh, this is my daughter. You know, this is my daughter. This is my daughter. Kind of find out is not my daughter, guys. Wow, wow, wow. TJ, thanks for that story. 805 800 Tom, that's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. It's Chad on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's going on, buddy? Not much, Chad. Um, I'm the son of a mother who lied to my father about being his. How did that happen? I guess back in the day when my mom and my dad met, they uh, she was having family problems and she was sleeping around with some guys and then met my dad and said that I was his. And does she know whose son you are? Yeah, she knows the guy. Has she told you? Uh, I just found this out about four months ago. How did you find out? They were in the middle of their divorce and I was in my room after swim practice one day and she comes in and says, look, we need to talk. And so I said, okay. So I went to my uh, parents' room, and uh, my dad was sitting there crying and 
my mom said, look, I got to come straight with you that uh, you're not his son. And I was like, what? And so she told me the story that I'm some other guy's son, and all I could do is just sit there helplessly. And uh, did your dad, had he just found that out at that point? Um, I'm guessing so, yeah, because he was crying, too. He was, like, in a shock. I wonder how that came out. Like, why all of a sudden, uh, was she forced to confess, or she just felt guilty? Well, I know that it got into a fight because she had an affair on my dad, and my dad confronted her about it, and so she just got nasty and said, well, you know what? He's not yours. Oh, boy. And it's really obvious, too, because I always asked if I was um, adopted or anything because I'm, like, look like full-blooded Mexican, and my dad's a total white boy. Uh-huh. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Well, so what has this done to you? By, for all the people who are doing this right now, all the people who are lying, uh, tell them what this has done to your life. You know what? I used to love my mom. Now I hate her. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I hate her. And I just think she's a two-bit whore. That's all she is because she lied and destroyed my father's life and put me in a real tight spot. And it's not worth to put your kids through that. It hurts too much. Did you tell her that? Yeah, and her and I got into a fight. And that's when I moved out and moved in with some friends. Wow. And uh, she's in the process of moving out. And when she's done, I'll move back in with my dad. But, you know, I can't stand to be around her, can't stand to look at her or anything. Wow, wow, wow. Has she tried to uh, b b make up to you or no? Uh, no, I, I haven't even given her a second chance. She's called me and I said, you know what? When you can stop lying, which you can't right now, because we're uncovering all of her lies, you know, all the bad stuff she's done through my parents' marriage, and I can't trust her right now with anything. Wow. And uh, have you spoken to your biological father? No, I, I don't even, like, want to know him right now because it's not important to me. What's important to me is getting my dad through this hard time. Wow. Wow. And so wow. I'll deal with that when the time comes. I understand. Well, Chad, you've been through a lot. I completely empathize with that story you're telling us. Thanks for telling us. All right, thanks for listening, Tom. No problem. Wow, 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 wow. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Susan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Hi, I'm okay, Susan. Wonderful. Uh, I want to say I emphasize with uh, Chad as well. That was really kind of heartbreaking, that story there. Um, but my question is to the men that don't they realize this with these women, like the, like when they go out with them and then like they sleep with them the very first night? Doesn't that kind of give them a clue about how these women... That, that, that doesn't tell you whether someone's going to lie to you about the paternity of a child. That doesn't tell you that. But it kind of gives you like an idea. No, it really doesn't. No, believe me, I've been with slots and I've been with virgins. I'm telling you, uh, it doesn't tell you anything. Uh, there are plenty of sluts who are completely upfront and honest about being sluts. Yeah. And they're completely upfront and honest about everything in their lives. And then there are sluts yeah. who uh, whore around and then uh, don't want you to think they're sluts. And then they just lie. Yeah, that's true. I mean, my situation is, I, okay, I had a one-night stand with a guy, and I don't know you want to call me a slut or not. That's, that's up to you. But, and I did get pregnant. Um, and I, I told the guy because my family's Latin, and it's like it was a whole big, oh, you have to tell him, you have to tell him. I'm like, I really didn't want to because I knew that it wasn't, nothing was going to come from it. Um, but I did anyway, and sure enough, it was exactly like I said. He didn't want the baby. He was, you know, that's fine. And, Tom, I have not spoken to this person for three years. My daughter's three years old. Um, I guess if you count the nine months, she was in my stomach as well. And we're as happy as can be. I don't need anything from the guy. I don't expect anything from the guy. I'll deal with my daughter asking about her father when the time comes. But it just... I don't know. I don't know. What, I'm amazed that these women do stuff like that, too. It's crazy. Well, they do it because we have laws that make it easy for them to do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, fraud is illegal in every aspect of American life, except this one. You can defraud right. somebody and legally take their money, even after we know that a man is not the father of a particular child. Right. We allow That's women to lie, and all they have to do is lie for a year or two, and once they get away with it for that long, they've got an 18-year annuity. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the fact that we allow it is why women do it. Yeah, well, I think guys, too, need to be a little careful, too, with what they take, and depending where they... No doubt, uh, no doubt about that, and no men should be using condoms and all of that, yeah. but, but, but that's only half the story. Yeah. The other half of the story is a legal system that allows women to lie and get away with it. Well... I don't know what to say about that. I mean, I, I, I can go either way on that one. But, well, but it's true. I mean, there is no either way on it. I mean, the fact is, if you have sex with one guy, 
and you decide that another guy will make a better father after you find out you're pregnant. Uh, all you have to do is successfully lie to him for 12 to 24 months, depending on what state you're in. And if you get away with it for that long, without him asking for a DNA test or anything, you're in. And he owes you for 18 years, no matter what. That's, that's a fact. Right. Well, guys should, too, right away. When a woman tells them that they're pregnant and they realize, you know, I just met I tell and men they should, and I tell men that they should <laughs> yeah. demand DNA tests right in away. all circumstances. Exactly. Do not yeah. let her bully you into not getting one. Right. Get it. I mean, and then you get into these situations like that poor that gentleman, I'm sorry, I didn't know his name, that called and his father was on a deathbed and he introduced this little girl. And yeah. I'm sure his father went to heaven all, you know, happy and, oh, my God. And now it's, it's horrible. I mean. That's just that's heartbreaking too. Yeah, unbelievable. Well, and nobody bothers to think about how heartbreaking these situations can be. All they think about is themselves. Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. I've been out and about. And I've seen these crazy bumper stickers. I saw this one the other day that said, "Driver carries no cash. He's married." Why did he just put a big bumper sticker that says, "Hey, I'm a pussy. My wife got my balls." I hadn't heard of that bumper sticker. <laughs> the Tom like his show. Oh, yeah. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Hi, Tom. So I was just listening to that kid who just called in about his mom being the whore. And I have a really similar story, except I just chose to get over it with my mom, you know, because that's, that's all I got is my mom and my dad. Uh-huh. But So how you know, did your like, story take place? How did it uh, unfold? Well, I was telling Dino, it was actually a conscious choice by my parents because my dad couldn't have kids. And um, so what? Your your dad arranged for what? Somebody of his to go do your mom? Well, that's the disgusting thing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's like in the movie The Big Chill. They did that. Well, yeah, and I I got to be about sixteen, and uh, I was telling Dino, I'm like six five, two ninety. My dad's like five ten, buck fifty. Wow. So it kind of became evident, and I was kind of like, "What's going on here?" And it was really weird because my my mom and dad now hate each other and won't talk to each other. But they both got together and sat me down and gave me this whole speech about how they love me so much and all that crap. Wow. And I got mad, and I was mad for a couple of years. And, uh, you know, life's too short. you got to move on. you gotta, you got to choose your family. So did you feel better uh, knowing that your mom wasn't some slut? Yeah, but I felt a lot better knowing that my dad chose to be my father. Yeah. You know, like, he chose to show up and pay for my school. Mm -hmm. And he manned up on it. And my mom, yeah, I lost a lot of respect for her. You did? I did, but I still love her. She's my mom. Would you rather she did, like, artificial insemination or something like that? Um, I think I would have rather them split up, you know, and just have my real dad, my real, like, my biological father be there. Uh-huh. Because I met him later, and he's a punk. Wow, wow, wow. So I just wanted to give that extra spin on things. Like you gotta, you gotta choose your family. I, I you're absolutely right about that, Stephanie. We have one minute left here on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say that I feel bad for the guy that was defrauded by the woman. But the only thing I have to say in this situation is, in any kind of fraud, you can keep yourself from becoming a victim by not putting yourself in the situation in the first place. Yeah, but uh, let's face it, there's really not much you can do. People are going to have sex. Well, you can take prote precautions. Oh, no doubt about it. If you do not know the person well enough to know that they're on the pill or whatnot, then your job is to wear condoms. Well, there are people who wear condoms who are unpleasantly surprised. Uh, well, and those people you feel bad for, but this guy had numerous times that he could have taken control of the situation by immediately demanding... Well, I totally agree with you, but that doesn't mean we should allow women... Uh, to so easily defraud a man and make him pay for 18 years. That's a whole other story. Our email address, it's my name, it's Tom, at blowmeuptom.com. Tom at blowmeuptom.com.